Hey, what's up, YouTube? Thanks for tapping into another episode of Trapper T-Shirts with your boy, Big Crooked. You know our motto over here. You ain't gotta sell dope. You just gotta sell dope. Shh. We're gonna be talking about some more GIMP stuff today. We're gonna be running through a basic GIMP resynthesizer tutorial. You will need a plug-in for this tutorial. It'll be in the description. But before we start, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below on what kind of videos y'all want to see next. Or if y'all just got some general questions that y'all need some answers to. If I can answer them, I'll answer them. Alright, let's get this thing opened up. We're going to start right at the website. You need to go to github.com forward slash boot chk forward slash resynthesizer or boot check but I don't want you looking for the whole word check that's why I said CHK but when you get there scroll down to readme.md again the link for this plugin is in the description once you click on this if you scroll down it's just going to show you all the operating systems that this plugin will work on so uh, what you're going to want to do is scroll down and find yours I don't know what operating system you're using but we're using Windows so we're going to click on that and this page right here just tells you all the parties involved and a little more information. So if you want to check that out, be my guest. But if not, we're going to scroll right on down to the bottom. And when we get to the bottom, what we're going to do is we're going to click on that archive of the resynthesizer plugin for Windows. Now, once you get over here to this page and you see that registry gimp.org.static, slide all the way over and go down to that download and click on that. Once you do that, man, you just want to download this folder. I'm going to save mine into the uh, downloads folder. And then once it downloads, we're going to open that thing up. All right, let's show it in the folder. All right, we see it right there. So what we want to do now is uh, we want to right click on this thing and extract all. Get everything up out of there. You can put it in whatever folder you want to, but I'm gonna leave it in this folder right now that it's in. I'm just gonna go down and click extract. But if you wanna change it, click on that browse right there. All right, now once you get inside this, you wanna double click on that and open it up and there's all the plugins. We won't be using all the plugins because all of them don't work. We're only gonna take the most important ones. And that's heal selection and heal transparency. We'll take a couple of them, but the most important ones for this tutorial is heal selection and heal transparency. So you want to make sure you grab them. You can grab them all and check them out for yourself, though. All right, so we're going to minus this down and we're going to open up GIMP. I already have mine open. So once you get it open, you want to go over to edit and go down to preferences all right once you get here you want to scroll down not here but over here scroll down to folders and then open this right here with this little drop down menu and then once you get the drop down go over to plugins All right, now, once you get it to the plugin folders, make sure you grab the top one with the app data. And once you see it highlighted up here, then you want to slide over to this little file cabinet over to the right and click on that. Bang. All right, now once this folder opens up, you want to double click on it, open it up. Now you may not have anything in here. I do have a plugin in here already. Um, I usually have more but I take them out so I can show you guys these videos. So now we want to go back to the other resynthesizer folder and we're going to drag a few of these plugins over to our plugin folder. So just follow along with me and take the same ones. The other ones won't work so don't worry about them. I'm going to take this one. Let's go ahead and get this one, this one, and then we'll get the last two down at the bottom. The resynthesizer. Bam. And then what we're going to do is just click 
and drag these things over into the plug-in folder. Drop. All right. Now they're in your plug-in folder. So what we want to do now is close all these boxes. Close that one. This one. This one. And then we're going to close GIMP too. Close this box too. He was hiding back there. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna reopen GIMP, and our plugin should be installed. Come on, hope your computer going faster than mine. All right, let's get the image up in here. What we gonna use? All right, we got the inside of the trap house. Now with this resynthesizer tool, I can remove anything off of this design that I would like to, pretty much without affecting the, excuse me, the design. Fat tongue, guy, Nick. All right. So in order to do this, first things first, what you need to do. Is let's go over here and uh, grab the free select tool or the lasso. I don't know what you call it. We're going to slide over here to filters real quick and go to enhance. And then what we're going to be using is the heel selection. But there's heel selection and heel transparency right there. Those are some of the plugins that you just downloaded. If you did this right along with me. All right. So we're going to take this free select tool and we're going to draw mediocre circle around this we're gonna do it fast for the tutorial so let's get this a circle around this gun this rifle whatever you want to call it all right don't forget when you get back to your last point to hold control to click it get in and make it a selection and then we're gonna go back up to filters down to enhance and let's go to heel selection. All right, once you get this dialog box, we're only gonna change one thing in here. I'm just gonna change this to 100. Uh, you can change this if you like to, but I'm just gonna keep it all around. You can change the fill in order too, but I'm just gonna keep that at random. And then we're gonna click okay. And then we're gonna watch the magic happen. All right. We're going to let the computer do the hard part. And then we're going to see what we got. You know, this tool may help you. It may not help you. It helps me, so I thought I'd share it with you. Uh, come on. I hope your computer is a lot faster than mine. But I be doing a lot of stuff. A lot of t-shirt stuff. All right, there it is. So once it finished, you see that gun is gone now, right? All right, I know the floor look a little disheveled, but we could take the warp tool and drag that down if we want to, but we not. We was just showing you what the resynthesizer tool does with that plug-in. Well, I trappers, crafters, hustlers, designers, whatever you call yourself, I do believe that we have come to the end of the video. So this has been another episode of Trapping T-Shirts with your boy Big Crooked. Hey, don't forget to beat the cheeks off the notification bell so you can see when we upload something else. Cause we're going to keep dropping shit like a bad receiver. Until next time, gang. Trap some.